Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. Today we have another service call for a two pipe fan call unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. We got a service call for a two pipe fan call unit saying that the heat is not working. We are currently in cooling season. So at night it gets a bit chilly. So right now we're getting chilled water to the system as the chiller is on in the basement but when it comes to heat and on those cold nights we have emergency electric heat it is set to 90 and is 59 degrees in the room and it feels super chilly inside the ceiling here we have the unit let's open up the access panel and see what's going on it's pretty much the hardest jobs i get when it comes to this place when they can't fix it it's up to me oh boy Look at this. No, man, this, this place is always a mess. All right, somebody installed a contact there. Instead of that relay, I'm sure that cover doesn't come on. They definitely were messing around in here, or literally. This is what it is. All right, so we're set to heat. And there's one light on here. This one. Pretty chilly in here. Actuator is up there. I can feel the stem. It is closed. It's closed. So it looks like the relay is calling. That's going to be the electrical heater wires right there that's going to be instead of a relay they put a contact there in here let's see if that coil is being energized get in there it's so close to the thing man it's dangerous man, i got nothing on that coil so this is neutral and this red goes into these pipe sensors. All right, before we do all this, let's see if this heater even works. I'm gonna press, I'm gonna bypass this contactor. Okay, got eight amps. The heat does work. The question is why it's not. Most likely it is something to do with those pipe sensors. All right, so I'm trying to follow this wiring so I know the heat is gonna be this guy right here heating cooling so heat I'm following this it goes into this wire nut where one wire gets connected to the one side of the coil here that's why you see it energized so that's coming from the thermostat so we know 120 volts energized that light right there if we follow this then it goes into this pipe sensor into this this is so hard to work in this little space it goes into this red one and then it should sense the pipe is cold and go through here into this red into this red into this red. AC this energizes one side of the coil 120 volts then it comes back to neutral here coil energizes have a magnetic field that plunges in heater comes on so where do we get stuck well I know I have 120 volts here if this is lit up it didn't switch over to the white it didn't switch over to the white and that's why we're not getting 120 volts there so there's a good chance this pipe sensor specifically is bad this might be bad angles. I don't know if you guys would even be able to see this. But I need to pop out this thing with a screwdriver. Okay. Okay. Power's off, by the way. Okay. 
Oh man, the way they wired us, you can't even take it down, man. <laughs> All right, let's cut this thing out. Another good way to check as well is if we jump this across. So if that gets jumped across and it starts, then we know that's actually what's holding us out because the voltage is there. Instead of chopping this up and doing like an ice water and lighter test, which I did in, the, in another video. Oh wow, I think it's super rusted. Look at that, it just came out of there. Oh, that's ugly. I think he barely even came off too. That looks pretty ugly too, but let's jump that. You can see there, that's bypassed. Let's turn this on. Make sure nothing's gonna short out. Okay. No light on the relay. Set the system on heat. Let's watch that light come on. And we should also get amps. When that light comes on, we should see amps. Any minute now. Whoa. The contact's closed, but no heat. Oh, wait. I had a system on volts. All right, we got a nice. See, the light came on and that clock, that pop was the contactor coming in and we got 7.7 .7 amps. And that's because this pipe sensor is bypassed at the moment. Here's the old one. I literally just changed one of these yesterday. I swapped it out for one of these. These are very different. Got a white, blue, and red there. This one, we got a black, blue, and red. And it's completely, completely different. I might need to run a quick new test just to make sure which one is which, but I do believe for the new one, black is common, blue is cooling, red is, is, is heating. So between for when a pipe is cold, these two touch, pipe is hot, these two touch, I believe. So let's just double check, swap that out. All right, so I got the meter in, set the meter to resistance, continuity. Let's see who's touching right now. This would be when the pipe is cold, that would be what is touching. And I do believe it's the black and blue. Right there. So that's gonna send power through the blue when the pipe is cold. When the pipe is hot, it sends power through the red. And in heating mode, like when it's in actual heat mode, not emergency heat, that should go to the actuator. Open up the actuator when the building is in heating mode. Okay. Let's swap this all out. All right, so there's gonna be quite some wires to cut, but I know starting off, this is gonna be the common. So this goes Let's put these wires together again and connect the common for our new pipe sensor. Make sure where everything goes. This can go wrong really quick. Okay. So when it's cold, it's 
gonna go through this guy. So this one, I believe the blue goes there. Blue goes there. Yep. Blue goes there. Call for heating. And it senses we got cold water. It's not gonna open up the actuator. It's gonna relay basically to the electrical heater. Which, yep, to the relay, got it. That's definitely that. And this has to go to the next one, which is a wire that I cut right back here. All right, we got that wired over there. System on heat. I heard that relay kick in. One light is on and we got amps. For some reason, these start with a higher fan speed and then it comes down to whatever you set it to. But what you see right there, that's 7.9 amps. Good. I gotta get some wire nuts on these things. All right, so we're good as far as heating. Let's turn it on cooling just to make sure nothing weird happens. No amps. And I did feel the spring on the actuator itself. It's all the way back up there. Kenny might not even be able to see it, but it's right there behind that red loop of wire. It opened up for cooling and it closed during heating and turned on the electrical heat. So we are good to go. I mean, this thing has no cover. And I can see this wire right here. A little bit of copper is exposed. This thing is super dangerous. Cooling is good. Heating is now coming up. Hopefully you guys can see, but it's about 80 degrees and climbing. Great. All right, everyone, we're gonna wrap this one up from here. So we had a faulty pipe sensor yet again. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.